A very pleasant good morning to all our viewers and listeners. It is indeed a great honor and privilege to be able to share with you from the Word of God as we are definitely living in the last days and perilous times have come. My scripture is taken from the book of 2 Chronicles 7 and 14. It is indeed a very familiar and well-known verse, If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. Is our land in need of healing? We do not have to look very far. Almost every day, senseless murders are committed. As we look at Ezekiel chapter 7 and verse 23, make a chain. For the land is full of bloody crimes, and the city is full of violence. From our scripture in 2 Chronicles chapter 7 and verse 14, we observe that there are conditions to be met for our land to be healed. Number one, humble yourselves. Number two, pray and seek my faith. Number three, turn from your wicked ways. Then God has promised to do three things. I will hear from heaven, I will forgive their sins, I will heal their land. The first requirement is for us to humble ourselves. What does it really mean by humbling oneself? How do we define the word humility? Humility is the opposite of pride. Jesus demonstrated his humility when he washed the feet of the disciples, 2 Corinthians chapter 8 and verse 9. He became a servant. He was free from all worldly pride. Our example of true humility is found in Jesus himself. We humble ourselves under the mighty hand of God, 1 Peter chapter 5 and verse 6. We must strive always to humble ourselves and let him exalt us. We must put in true humility. When we look at all the examples of Jesus' humility, we realize how much we have fallen short. But we have the Holy Spirit to teach us all things and lead us into all truth. Let us depend on the teachings of the Holy Spirit. He has not left us alone. He has promised never to leave us nor forsake us. Try at all times to emulate the humility of, as taught to us by the example of the Lord Jesus Christ. I trust that we will learn to humble ourselves, especially as it is one of the requirements required by God for him to hear from heaven and heal our land. I pray that you have gained something from our letter today. Join us again on Wednesday the 28th when we will share on the next requirement, pray and seek his truth. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, we come to you in the precious name of your Son, Jesus Christ. We are crying out to you in true humility and know that you will hear and answer us. We thank you, Lord, for your divine enablement, and thank you for hearing us. Amen. Forgive our sins, we pray.